everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we are at time here, so uh, we'll go ahead and kick off. Uh, this is thanks for joining us today. This is uh, TPM and Autodesk. We're, we're going to be discussing a new way to buy uh, with some recent announcements on June 10th. My name is Alex Freeman. Uh, I'm the marketing manager here, and joining me today is our VP of Sales, Mr. Aaron Russo. Aaron, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me, Alex. Before we go into the agenda, uh, quick housekeeping. There's a Q&A button at the top of your screen. Feel free to click that at any time. That'll slide out a panel. Uh, and ask your questions at any point throughout the webinar as they come. Uh, we've got a Q&A session at the end where we'll address those questions. Um, and without further ado, we'll cover a little bit of the agenda here. As I mentioned, we're going to be discussing a new way to buy Autodesk products with some changes that are coming June 10th. So we'll go over that. We'll, we'll cover those in depth. We'll also ask some frequently asked questions and cover some of those, what we're hearing from the field. Uh, we'll also, as I mentioned, have a Q&A session, and then finally we'll conclude with next steps. I'll go ahead and we'll pass it off to Mr. Aaron Russo uh, to kind of highlight some things that are changing on June 10th, as well as some stuff that's staying the same. Aaron? Great. Thanks, Alex. And, and, and thank you for joining. Uh, we had a uh, tremendous response in registrants, and it looks like we have a uh, tremendous response on attendees as well. Um, just want to talk a little bit, keep it high level, but but just 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 uh, put to bed any questions or concerns that you may have as a TPM and Autodesk customer around uh, the new way to buy. Um, so so what's changing? So this new way to buy is just going to make it easier for you to purchase and manage subscriptions through self service. The main change that you're going to see is around invoicing and payment. Uh, you'll receive your quote via email from Autodesk. TPM will work with you um, throughout that process, and you'll pay Autodesk directly. You'll have the ability to select secure payment methods. Uh, you have some options there, and uh, you'll have the option to renew subscriptions up to 90 days early. Again, it's just more of a self-service model. You'll be able to add or remove licenses. Uh, receive pro prorated pricing uh, where where it makes sense. Um, if you you need to co-term when you're adding or or reducing your user count, um, so it matches up existing contract expiration dates, and you can change your terms from annual to multi-year commitments, um, and, and then that'll help with the budgeting and procurement constraints that some organizations have. You know, typically there's preferences on 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 purchasing either annually or 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 multi-year for uh, pricing. Uh, constraints or uh, or or optimizing uh, getting the best price for 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 your your uh, your organization. Um, pricing predictability. Um, Autodesk is level setting pricing on June 10th. Um, they're going to drive consistency across the Americas. So you know in in current state uh, there's there's pricing variances across the nation. Um, moving forward, June 10th, they're going to control and, and keep uh, all pricing consistent across the board. And over time, uh, they're going to have uh, personalized recommendations based on your buying behaviors and, and, and your product subset. So they'll be rolling out promotions and, 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 and things that are, are more tailored to your needs. We haven't uh, had line of sight into what that's going to look like yet. But we will continue to update our FAQ and, and our landing page that we'll talk about here in future slides to make sure that you're uh, you're up to, to date and, and up to speed on everything that uh, pertains to the new model change. Um, from an Autodesk vendor setup perspective, you've been asked to set your organization up in the Autodesk vendor portal. Um, that's going to help for speedy order processing. Um, something that uh, that is encouraged and uh, will be able to help you, you know, as we get closer to this transition date. So we talked about what's changing. Also want to talk about what's staying the same. So, you know, TPM is your trusted advisor. Um, we're not going anywhere, right? We offer uh, a, a diverse product portfolio and uh, we're help, here to help you on your digital transformation. We want to make sure that we provide best in class customer experiences and, and really just do what we say we're going to do. Um, we have hardware, software and professional services solutions. Um, and, and I'm sure the majority of you are familiar with what we we do here at TPM. It's bigger than Autodesk. Um, we have a CRM uh, platform that's based for project pursuit called Treble Hook. Um, you're most of you are familiar with with Bluebeam, of course, Autodesk, 
We also partner with HP, Mark Forge, and others, um, and, and we really want to just provide solutions that can help you scale your organization. Um, from a training and support perspective, we had a de de have a dedicated team of, of customer experience representatives that, that are focused on providing you with, with a delightful experience. Um, just last year, we held over 120 open and closed enrollment classes, and uh, we had close to 1,000 attendees. We have professional services, uh, a team of industry experts that deliver training and consulting services that really help optimize workflows in the AEC space. And they take a personalized approach to really understanding your business. You know, that's the most important thing. And we strive and talk about this every day in this organization. We want to help you understand, you know, what is your desired future state and then develop prioritized success roadmaps to help you get from point A to point B effectively. Autodesk is one piece of it, um, but we want to help you with in, in every way that we can. And uh, product and service education is, is, is really where the, the sales organization comes into play and our customer experience team. We want to make sure that we're staying informed, you're staying informed, and, and that you're making accurate buying decisions. Um, that's why we're having this webinar. Uh, you've seen some of this information passed on uh, via email, but we wanted to be proactive and make sure that we addressed any issues or concerns. Um, there were a few calls in that we received that said, hey, TPM, are you still are you still in it, right? Are you still uh, helping us with our Autodesk needs? So so proactively, we wanted to get in front of this and make sure that that you understand that we're not going anywhere. And if anything, you know, this is going to give us an opportunity to double down in our experience uh, team as we free up resources on back end order processing and and just help your organization more and invest in areas that can help you uh, grow your organization and scale with TPM. So with that said, I'm going to transition over to FAQ. Alex is going to help me a little bit here and, and then ultimately Q&A. Great. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover some frequently asked questions that we're hearing from the field from you all uh, as this announcement had rolled out. Uh, and then we'll kind of transition uh, into Q&A. Again, just a reminder, there's a Q&A button at the top of your screen. Once you click that, a side panel will roll out uh, and you can plug your questions in there for us to address. Uh, first on the docket, a frequently asked question, Aaron, where do I go for support? So you have a couple of different options. Um, short answer is starts with TPM. Um, so you can contact our customer experience team via phone or email. Uh, you can see the phone number and, and email address experience at tpm.com uh, on the slide in the bottom right. Um, you can also contact your dedicated sales representative. Um, we have close relationships with the majority of you on this call. Um, we're only a, a phone call or email away. Uh, feel free to reach out to me as well. My contact information is there. Great. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. uh, what about can I still uh, buy direct from TPM as I've always done? So after June 10th, uh, all standalone Autodesk purchases are, will be transacted through Autodesk with our help and assistance. We'll, we'll be able to help guide you and direct you around your quote. We can deliver quotes to you, but ultimately once we process that, it goes through the Autodesk system and drives the invoice. Uh, like many of our Autodesk customers, if you buy multiple products and services uh, from TPM, there's gonna be no change to those bundled offerings outside of the Autodesk piece with this new trans transaction model. Awesome, thanks, Aaron. Uh, what about, will I, will I still be able to negotiate pricing and discounts on my Autodesk solutions after this change? So because all transactions are going to take place directly with Autodesk, uh, they, they control the pricing. All purchases are going to adhere to their terms and conditions. Great. So could I, could I see an increase in, in price once Autodesk transitions to this new way to buy? It's possible, but, you know, historically we've seen annual price increases anyway. Um, from Autodesk's perspective, increases reflect enhanced value from their products and services, and uh, they will support maintaining high quality solutions and investments in their product development. Um, for existing customers, renewal, renewals are, are going to be more cost effective than purchasing new licenses, so there's advantages to being a current customer. Um, but TPM is going to help guide you through uh, the, the process. You know, if there's new, new subscription features, you know, what the cost versus value looks like and, and making sure that you're getting the most out of your solution. And you know, we're, we're here for you. Great. 
will I get an invoice uh, for Autodesk software as well as a separate invoice for services delivered by TPM or additional softwares delivered by TPM? So Autodesk engagements um, will pertain to transactional business and subscription renewals. So, you know, if, if you don't need guidance, if, if you don't need help from your trusted advisor in TPM, uh, you can transact, feel free to, you will be able to transact and, and add or reduce uh, your, your user accounts. And, and process your renewals. Um, if we're helping your organization with billable services, you'll still receive the invoice directly from TPM. Great. Uh, that kind of concludes our frequently asked questions that we've been hearing. We'll go ahead and switch to Q&A. I do already see some questions in here related to uh, individual software. We'll be happy to address those offline. Uh, we'll have the experience team or, or your account manager get with you about those. So please feel free to continue to ask those. Uh, we do want to address them. We'll just do it offline. Um, Aaron, I have a question here. It sounds sure, it looks to me like, like Rick Duncan ahead. asked one, yeah. right? Sure. Yeah. Regarding level consistent pricing, what happens to our lower pricing we have due to switching from perpetual licenses to subscription? So at this point in the game, uh, we don't have visibility into what the pricing is going to look like. Um, I would uh, anticipate, you know, some some potential changes uh, as far as the pricing for subscriptions. I don't I don't think that it's going to be impactful, but you know, it's it's to be determined um, at this point. If 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 we when we receive updated pricing and and we know what those expectations are going to be on behalf of, of of Autodesk, we will communicate. Um, Rick, I would, uh, I'll, I'll make a note for us to reach out and, and just make sure that, that we're in lockstep as, as we, uh, approach your, your renewal date. David, we can, we can, I see your question, David, we can probably answer part of that specific to you all. We'll, we'll reach out to you all, all uh, we'll reach out to you, um, offline, but Aaron, high level for renewals in April, uh, does TPM take that order? Yeah, so any 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 orders uh, before the transition will continue to transact just just the same as we always have. Yeah, same same with a uh, renewal in June, uh, and 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 I would guess that would be whether it's pre June 10 or not, right, Aaron? Correct. And uh, as part of the call to action on the next slide, uh, we will jump ahead. Uh, you know, it, it, I would encourage uh, anyone with with an upcoming renewal uh, to to reach out to us early so we can discuss, you know, what 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 options we have, you know, potential uh, pricing concessions to to make sure you keep those or or commitments to multi year, you know, whatever makes sense for you to to save the most and get the most value out of your subscription. You know, we're going to help you with that, and we'll get creative where we can. Right. Um, I have another question here. It sounds to me like Autodesk is our go-to for invoicing and payment and TPM for all pre- and post-sale support. Is that accurate, Aaron? Yeah, uh, to a degree that's accurate. Yeah, so so we will help you for all pre- and post-sale support. Um, also sales and education, right? Making sure that that you understand, you know, just like we always have being your trusted advisor and, and understanding what um, products within the Autodesk portfolio make sense for your organization. Um, we'll continue to help you with your quote requests, provide support uh, throughout that buying experience. Um, this includes pre and post sale, onboarding, training and enablement, really anything in between. Great. Um, Batty, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, we will uh, we will get with you offline to uh, to handle that uh, issue on your case there. Um, and, I, and I will just 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 mention, you know, the the, the question or, or statement was we have a problem with the W9 name and the invoice name on the letterhead as they have to be the same. Is there any solution? So Autodesk has an internal team set up to handle these types of, of escalations. So as you get closer to time for you to make your next purchase, um, Let's get you set up uh, in the in the vendor portal. If you have any challenges, you know we'll, we'll work with you together to make sure that we can get that set up quickly, so there's no lapse in 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 purchase time or or access to your account. Right. 
Uh, I have another question here. Do we have to? Do we set up a new vendor account if our renewal is prior to June tenth, or will that cause confusion when it comes to payment for renewal? So regardless of timing, um, you're encouraged to set set up uh, in the vendor portal, um, even though we'll transact before uh, June tenth. Um, direct with TPM, uh, there is going to come a time when you're going to you, you will need to purchase additional licenses or expand your current portfolio or ultimately jump ahead a year to your renewal. Um, you, you're going to have to be set up at some point or another unless you pay by credit card. Um, there is an option to bypass uh, in certain instances um, if you're OK with the terms and conditions that are proposed. Um, but if you if if you don't, you you may face you know some delays there. So once you're set up in the in the vendor portal, it'll enable faster transactions and avoid potential delays. Um, there's a there's a standard vendor form in W9 available on the vendor page. We have uh, that set up uh, or accessible on our TPM uh, landing page as well. And that leads us right into this next one. We've got why do I have to set up Autodesk as a vendor? Yeah, it's pre pretty much, you know, what I covered, Alex. Um, it's just going to help you move these transactions through the system faster, uh, avoid potential delays. You know, if you have unique uh, procurement terms and conditions in your organization, I would encourage you to, to touch base with your procurement team just to understand if if there's things that aren't as straightforward around terms or or you know conditions that that may not be outlined in the, in the Autodesk portal. Um, but we'll help you with that. So if you want to reach out, feel free. Um, if there's any questions, you know, we'll be the point of contact. We're willing to, to take the extra step because we value you as a customer. We don't want you left in the dark. And the last thing that we want is you to um, have delays in, in, in purchasing or, or lapses in, in, in access uh, simply because you didn't get the support that we're committing to um, to get everything moved forward. Great. Aaron, I'm not seeing any more questions. Again, if you if you all have any questions and and we don't address them here, still feel free to drop those in there, uh, and we will we will for sure get with you offline. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, transition the next steps there, Aaron. Apologies, I just just moved through. So next steps in the process: um, bookmark our new way to buy on the landing page. Uh, it's at uh, tpm.com forward slash a new way to buy. Contact us for vendor setup assistance. Um, we're here for you to help and, and act now on upcoming renewals. So if you have any renewals between May and September, uh, let's let's talk early uh, and often to make sure that we're maximizing uh, your spend uh, and and making sure that you get the most out of out of your subscription uh, before the change on June 10th. Great. Uh, with that, since we're not seeing anything else, uh, I want to thank you all again for, for joining us here today. We'll give you some time back. Uh, and most importantly, I want to thank you for your partnership and being a part of the TPM family. Without you all, uh, we wouldn't be able to do any of this. So we're very grateful and thankful uh, to have you as part of our family. Uh, lastly, if any questions arise uh, after this webinar, maybe something you didn't think of here, uh, please feel free, as Aaron mentioned, to reach out to our customer experience team at experience.tpm.com, uh, or you can reach out to your respective account manager. And we hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining. Have a great day.